the Blockchain Innovation Conference on June the 7th in Utrecht at Rabobank. Be there. One of the speakers at the Blockchain Innovation Conference is Dennis de Vries. He's head digital ledger at KPMG. Dennis, what is the difference between last year and this year? What happened in a year? I think last year was still uh, much more about blockchain education and now we see much more uh, real life projects uh, for our clients. Uh, so uh, uh, in, in different sectors, insurance, government, uh, we see much more uh, serious projects taking place. Okay, we're going from proof of concept to real production. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, what kind of products does KPMG have for the digital ledger uh, projects? So it's, it's basically two things we're providing. Uh, one, we're assisting clients with their innovation journeys. Uh, so, uh, for example, helping uh, them uh, with setting up their uh, consortium, helping uh, them uh, come up with uh, future visions on on uh, how blockchain might simplify processes. Mm -hmm. uh, and on the other hand, we're helping um, uh, clients with blockchain projects to get from proof of concept to production via our blockchain maturity model. Which blockchain maturity program. Okay, that's a nice... Uh, the the maturity model. M, the BMM, yes. okay, the BMM. What is the blockchain maturity model? So it's a, basically a risk and control framework that we use to identify blockchain specific risks in proof of concepts. Um, so what we see that uh, uh, blockchain technology uh, brings about new sets of uh, risks uh, that we don't see in traditional IT implementations. Mm -hmm. So we came up with a specific uh, model to identify such uh, risks and have been helping clients such as uh, Rabobank, but also a very big international uh, clients that unfortunately uh, I cannot name at yeah, this yeah, the ones who have to be anonymous at this time exactly. who are very famous exactly. and they will uh, we'll hear about them later but hopefully you can on June the 7th you can say a little bit more I hope so about we're them. working so, on that yeah so you've analyzed a lot of blockchain programs mm -hmm. you've identified risk and that is now in the program what is how does that maturity model work I mean uh, is that uh, if, if I want to have a maturity model implemented in my uh, in my uh, project so the basic proposition that we're now using is that we uh, use this as a quick scan at clients. So uh, what we're doing, uh, at typically we have a series of interviews with our clients. Uh, mm -hmm. We do some walkthroughs through their uh, system. We have a look at their documentation and come up with a quick scan with initial results on 10 risk categories uh, specific to, uh, to blockchain mm -hmm. uh, to identify weak spots and areas where they can actually improve. Yeah, it's really actually your role in the normal world, right, as KPMG, to do yeah, an audit, yeah, yeah, do an yeah. audit of blockchain uh, projects. You know that that makes perfect sense. So we're looking for a natural role in the blockchain space. Okay, you also have an uh, uh, pro interesting project which potentially can be uh, talked about, and that's uh, on an KYC. Uh, yeah, so uh, our team in Singapore actually set up a shared ledger on uh, identity documentation. Uh, so for the three largest banks in Singapore, together with the Singapore regulator, we set up the shared ledger. And, and just think about the fact that in the Netherlands we have about 160 banks doing their own client identification. Mm -hmm. So here we set up a shared ledger where you and I actually own our own documentation. And if one of the banks actually wants to access our documentation, we get a notification on our phone and we are the ones providing access to those banks. So you get a brilliant audit trail of every, everything that's happening around your identity documentation mm. and the banks can still come up with their own conclusion whether uh, they think you are a risky client, yes or no. Yeah, and who owns that blockchain? Uh, so uh, this is a, a shared industry platform uh, owned uh, by uh, the financial industry in uh, in uh, Singapore. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think it's a, a brilliant way to actually prove the added value of, of blockchain in real life. Yeah, yeah, because I own my data and I can determine who has access to it and I can also withdraw my access. Yes, exactly. exactly. Okay, so that is now, what phase will that be in on June the 7th uh, in, uh, oh, in a, Singapore? That's a good one. We're working with multiple governments uh, on uh, this one. Uh, so in the Middle East, uh, we're uh, getting this to uh, production, uh, so hopefully I can uh, bring more information on uh, June the 7th on that one. June the 7th, Blockchain Innovation Conference, Dennis de Vries from KPMG, real production.